Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie Extra unboxing. Today I have the Barbie Extra Deluxe doll. Now, this is kind of what I wish all of the Barbie Extras were. She retails for $30, which is only $5 more than the regular Barbie Extras, but look at all of the extra accessories that she has back there. It's 30 plus looks that are in there. She's got this cool little cartwheel thing. And granted, yes, a lot of these are more kind of like basic pieces than what we've gotten with our other Barbie Extra dolls. But I would rather have the variety. And so here is the back of the doll. As you can see, it's got all the different ways to do it. And I am more excited about this than I should be because you can really style it a bunch of different ways, which is what I wish they would have done with the, uh, with the rest of the Barbie Extra line. Now, as far as how do I get this off, I am not sure. I th think these have tabs. As I'm trying not to mess up this wheel that's in there. I'm just gonna have to hit it with the um, just gonna have to hit it with my whatchamacallits with my just gonna have to hit that right there so we can get this open without too much hassle tilt you guys down so you can see kind of what I'm doing. Uh, so again, it's kind of a cool, there are tabs in there, but the way they do the tabs for Barbie Extra is very, um, is very hard to get at, especially inside closed boxes. If I put it the right way, that might cut a little bit better. So we're almost through this part. because what I don't want to do is accidentally cut any of these accessories. Let's see, I think we've actually got most of it out. Just like, oh, no, hold on. This part is taped, which I missed. Sorry about that. They do not make these Barbie look these Barbie extras very easy to get into. So here she is, out of her plastic. You can really see the face. Now this is kind of a basic Barbie face. She does have the kind of like blue mermaid hair that we usually see in the mermaid lines, uh, and so. But she does have a little bit of green eyeshadow on there which I'm gonna take this wheel off, I think. I'm not sure how it's even connected. Oh, there's a whole thing that's connected to her, so hold on. I'm gonna have to do this carefully. Okay. No, 
another one of these down here. Got the bulk of this freed now. She does have a couple of okay, there we go. So, this is the little piece that holds her in, and that goes onto our little wheel back here that spins like that which we'll go through that in just a minute I want to get her fully out of the box though um, So she is fully out now. Let me show you guys a little bit of what we got going on. So she does have a different cat. That's the same cats that the skateboarder has. She's got these very pretty silver shoes on and her accessories almost match except for the fact that this is gold and this is silver. But if you were to take these earrings off and replace them with any other silver earrings, it'd look better. Um, so let's look at what she's got. So she does have this kind of Melanie Martinez bow on top, which is kind of cute, but again, uh, I don't know if I would keep that hairstyle in. Uh, she's pretty decently rooted from what I can see uh, to where there's not gonna be like a huge gap underneath where that bow is which is always nice. Um, and now let's look at our initial pieces that she's wearing. So this is like the, over, this is like an overskirt, but it could also be like a, uh, like a capelet or something like that. But it's um, this like kind of uh, fuzzy, uh, like teddy bear style fur. And then she's also wearing this very cute dress that can just turn and it all appears as one or it can be all this color, which with her hair, I would leave it as this color and I would probably put something like a long coat over the back of it. Maybe the uh, pink fluffy coat from one of the Barbie extras. I would probably style it like that. Um, and she's got this very cute purse right here. I'm pretty sure this is a new mold. I don't remember seeing this on anything. So I love that. Let's take this little uh, kitty cat off so we can get a closer look at everything else. So I do kind of appreciate the fact that they didn't give us a ton of cat accessories. to kind of pump her number up for what all she got. Uh, so she does have like a little uh, meow thing and the little uh, crown is attached to her. And she's actually a decent cat mold. Uh, let me take off all the rest of these rubber bands. And so, very cute, a little uh, chain, a little white chain bracelet, and the nice uh, big uh, metallic silver uh, bracelet. This is a nice big choker, it's all one necklace, which I love. I do love that when they do it like that, because sometimes they will give us 
uh, what looks like a big chunky statement piece jewelry and it's actually just like five necklaces stap stacked on top of each other. So again, that is what that looks like. These are the shoes. Very pretty. I think we've seen these before, but I'm not entirely certain, so don't quote me on it. Um, and so let's take a look at the wheel. So this is the wheel that comes in the back of her. Like I said, this is the little stand that holds her on it. And then let's take a look first at her shoes that are on there. Because I feel like we should work our way from the bottom up. So these are kind of open-toed heels, a little bit of detailing on the back for like studs or jewels. Again, kind of a matching motif there on the strap. They are the same color as that overskirt, which is nice. Um, and there's also this skirt, which I will show you guys as soon as I get onto it. Okay, so there's this skirt, which is kind of cute considering the fact that it could just go right underneath here, which is one of the ways that they style it. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. So if we were to put this right up here and then put the, uh, and like style the dress right there, it looks like long ruffles. The only problem with that is getting it underneath the uh, actual dress hem, but it can become a mermaid dress like that. Or if we wanted to go over the skirt, which we can do, as we saw with that other overskirt. We can slide it up over this, like that, yeah, and give her kind of like a tutu over skirt, which works like that, or if we wanted to kind of combine these two skirts and take off the top, we could do that also, to where it was like that, so where it's got kind of a ruffle underneath. And then you have no problem taking these heels and exchanging them for these, like that. And then we've got a matching kind of motif. So very cute either way. Um, I'm gonna just take this down. I think I actually have the skirt inside out, but I'm not sure. Okay, but again, it's a very cute uh, kind of option to be able to do that. Oh, there's that missing necklace that I lost earlier in that other video. Um, so I like this dress because it does really complement the doll without being uh, too extra, especially given the fact that you can reverse it and it's got a different dress on the back. But the fact that she's got long hair really hides most of that. But if you wanted to do that, you can flip that over and really have that all purple kind of motif going on if you wanted to pair those heels with that. Now they actually had someone like me in charge of this on this one because the OCD was killing me on some of these. Um, but very cute either way. And then we also have our next piece right here, which is a little mini ruffle, which again is going to go either up here. You could put it like up like that if you wanted to, or just over the torso, or again, right there under the thighs. Your only difference is going to be uh, how well it stays up 
because with these uh, elastic ones, it's hard to get them over stuff. But still very cute. It's a cute little piece. You could stick it right here in the middle as sort of like a ruffle if you want to do that. And it'll go with this whole look. Not a piece I would really use on a lot of dolls, I don't think, unless I was trying to match some accessories to a look. But still very cute. Our next piece that we've got is some um, tights. Or actually, these are pants because they do have a, uh, a Velcro opening to the back, which is nice. I do love when they do that on pants so you don't have to slide them up over things. Uh, and it's again in the same kind of color. So you can wear them as tights under the dress, or you can, uh, if, you want, if you're willing to bunch this, or even kind of double it up, you could um, wear, it as wear it as a top, or just underneath the dress. Very cute. And then our next piece that we've got is a belt. So if I wanted to tie in that white bracelet that we've got, I could go like that right there. And I actually do like the way that looks considering it matches that white bracelet. I would take these earrings off if they were not the hook earrings, um, but such is life. And then our next one that we have is our, 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 oh, I'm going to have to take this off like this, aren't I? Some of these sunglass holders will release the sunglass without me having to take off whatever they're stick on, but some will not. And this looks like one of those. These are like kitty eye sunglasses. So one of them is slightly bent, so. But again, transparent. I love when they actually make the glasses transparent. So nice, I would be able to use that on some other looks if I felt like it. And then we have this skirt in black. Now I'm pretty sure I've seen this skirt in like peach, but I do like it in black because it's a full open back skirt. So what we can do is we can go like this if we wanted to and put it over the uh, over the dress if we were gonna like bunch it under it. Because what we can do is kind of bunch this top up Is what I mean when I say that. Or we can just kind of go like this, like that, to make it more of like a mini dress under there. And then we go like that, and we put our belt back on, like that, and make it look more like a top and a skirt. So it's a very cute look either way. And again, you don't have to keep this dress on the entire time. Like that's not a base piece. I just really like the way it looks with her hair. And so that's kind of what I'm styling off of. Uh, and then we have kind of a useless piece, which is a mirror. It's, but it doesn't actually have a mirror sticky on there. So it's useless as a mirror. And then also a little cat headband kind of cute, but I would never style a doll with those. And our last piece, well, pieces, because they're stapled together, apparently, are these tops, which are like tank tops. I really hate when they do that. So we have this, which is an off the shoulder top which has got some kitties on it. Again, kind of cute, kind of love it. Uh, it ties in the pet. Again, you could make an outfit just like that. 
without any issue. And just use your stiff, silver stylings. Um, and then again, we have this dress or this top, which if I were to uh, take this belt off, turn this around, I could style it like that right over that. And not have any worries about that. So all in all, this doll is, I think, way worth paying the full price than what the other dolls are. Let me count it out. So on the doll right now, I have one, two, three, four, five pieces. So five pieces right there that are all fashion pieces. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 out of 20 are fashion pieces. The only two being the mirror and the cat and cat's uh, necklace. So I guess there's 21. Uh, 18 out of 21 is great because these are all fashion pieces. It's not, you know, an ice cream cone or a, jump or a boom box or something. Uh, so it's great. I love that. Now, as far as the different outfit connotations, you can do a lot of things, but when you try to move these ruffle pieces up and, up and down the legs, you really cut out any sort of movability which is fine if you're just posing your doll, not so fine if you're playing with it. Uh, but like, especially these two, I would pair these as like a regular like skirt combo because that's really cute on its own. I don't love that this bow is not centered. I would probably take this bow off. Uh, but like, that's a cute piece just on its own, especially Paired with the fact that the heels actually match those colors. With the fact that this ruffle matches these blues in there. And the fact that just with that we have, you know, four outfits essentially that we can work with. Because if you count this one as a stagnant outfit, this one is a stagnant outfit this one and this ruffle as two outfits that go on these uh, dresses so they say 30 plus looks and they're not kidding because there's a ton of connotations you can do with that uh, the nice part about this is that because a lot of this is based around uh, just having like a slip dress I have a ton of these that are just in black that I've ordered that could make this completely different ball game so like let me let me show y'all i have it relatively nearby well actually no i don't never mind uh, but if you've seen my aliexpress doll videos then this is like the easiest type of uh barbie dress to make i've seen uh a bunch of uh videos on here that have shown how to make these kind of dresses out of like stretch headbands and things like that. So you can really make this dress very easily, which is great because so much of this set is evolved around having this kind of dress ready and available. Um, I do kind of wish they had made these out of the shiny silver or they had made these out of the blue to match that would have been perfect because in this dull silver we don't have any dull silver accessories to go with this on this doll that's kind of my one complaint and the fact that this is kind of a throwaway piece for me because she has those things on her head already that make that look way too busy up there uh, I do love these glasses would I probably cut off the little cat things around them? Yeah. Uh, 
So I think, I think I really like this doll. My only qualm is that I wish this was two different dresses because I would love to have had both of these dresses done in a different kind of style. Uh, let me see, this one is supposed to be this way, I think, yeah. So again, you can style it however you want. There's 30 plus piece, there's uh, 18 different fashion pieces, uh, a ton of extra options if you take off the earrings and uh, slide them in with a bunch of other things. So this is a great set, I think for what it is. So if you're counting the doll as being roughly roughly $15 of the 15 with one outfit, so if we were to count the doll as just being this outfit pretty much, if the doll was sold like this, it would be $15 probably. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 pieces. So really, you're looking at like a dollar oh six per piece over that, which is pretty good. Uh, considering most fashion packs are about four pieces and they run for five dollars. Uh, so yeah, this is a great, a great value for what it is. And it's actually really well styled, in my opinion. So, I would, honestly, if this goes below 30 uh, to where it's at like the $20 mark, I would maybe buy an extra of this just because of all the different permutations of this outfit. But yeah, so this is a great doll. As you can see, she looks great up against her, uh, her friend's ride. She ain't no scrub, but yeah. So this is a great look. Uh, the blue from this is a pretty close match to her blue tank top too, and that's Barbie Extra number eight. Um, so if you're gonna style this, this is a great one to have because a lot of these colors that she's styled with have a uh, have a ton of the same colors that we're working with across Barbie Extra. So, it's a great look. Again, I think this purse is a new mold. I do love these little belts because they really help break up uh, kind of mundane looks sometimes. Uh, this ruffle is not something that I think I would use a ton of. Uh, it does have a nice finished edge but this is one of those things you'd have to really stretch over the top. Like, let me show you what I mean by that. Like, if I'm going like this, and I've gotta put it all the way up here to really have it to be where it's not obviously a second piece or something like that. It's, it's a lot of work to get it up there. But it does really kind of pull this look together, especially with her hair. So this is like my least favorite piece, but it does work, which is the important thing. Like it works for what it does. I wouldn't put it down here at the knees, so I would do it maybe at the bust or right here at the waist to break this dress up. But if I was gonna break the dress up right now, I would break it up like this to tie in that white chain bracelet. And that's how I would style it. I think that's exactly how I'm going to leave her. Uh, I will take these earrings off, though. <sighs> See, I hate when they do these little uh, stabby pieces on the earrings. Because it really makes it so much harder to get them off. Which is intentional, so kids don't accidentally swallow them. But... It's not a great feeling when you kind of accidentally pull out Barbie hair or mess up her hairstyle trying to get her out. But again, I think that's exactly how I would leave her like that. Because now my little OCD heart is content that she is not 
mismatching her accessories. And yeah. So that's an outfit that you could do yourself if you were gonna do that. Uh, she looks super cute. She is ready for a ride on this uh, big machine. And she looks super cute. And again, we have a ton of extra pieces to work with to style across all of our other Barbie extra dolls. Um, so there's always more things to have when it comes to Barbie extra. Uh, I am probably going to go out and get the the fashion studio doll here in the next couple of days just to have all of them but they look really cute and that's about where we're at so if you liked it leave a like if you have any questions leave them in the comments and as always follow along for more because i still have more to review be good y'all bye